25 and 5. Leading the way for the folks is junior point guard Lewis Garza, a young man going through something no high schooler should ever experience. But the strength Lewis is showing is motivating his teammates and preparing all of them for much more than just hoops. This is where Luz Garza feels at peace. A basketball in his hands, on the court with the teammates he considers to be so much more than that. To me, it's not just a game. Like I just love it. Like, I've, I've always played. I've always loved it. Play with a passion. I mean, because if not, then there's really no reason to play. And the team itself is way more than a team. It's like a family, brotherhood. This brotherhood is going through the ultimate test because of a horrific accident a few months ago. It was around four in the morning, and I was asleep, and I had two, two of the basketball players at my house. I heard my mom yelling, and so right away, I, I just jumped out of bed, and I, I ran downstairs, and the guy was asking, like, what's, what's wrong, what's happening? And uh, I see a cop, so I thought maybe, like, I don't know, someone's in jail or something like that. It was much worse than that. Lewis's sister, Samantha, was walking along this highway in Poteet after leaving a Halloween party close by. A car hit her and then drove away just days before her 19th birthday. And then my stepdad tells me that, that my sister's dead. So. his last words to Samantha before she left that night. Uh, I told her to be careful before she left. Heartbreaking. It just happened like out of nowhere, you just fall asleep and we heard you ran downstairs and the sheriff was having us. We're all shocked. Over the next week, Lewis didn't say much, but his teammates made sure he was okay. We went to the funeral and we would check up on him after practices and talk to him before and see how he's doing. We would probably make it and just talk to him and try to make him laugh a little bit. Nothing can really make it feel better, but like, just having them here and knowing that if I need them, they're there. It felt pretty good. It was real hard to, to see that because I didn't know what to say. Not having been through that, uh, that's, that's a heck of a thing to have to go through, especially at his age. A week after Samantha's passing, Lewis was back in the gym. We had our first scrimmage the following Saturday. Well, he wasn't in school all week. I just told him, you know, when you're ready, you let me know. Well, we scrimmaged that Saturday, and, you know, he, he decided he wanted to be there. It helped a lot, actually. I knew, I knew they knew why I wouldn't come into practice and why I missed a few days or whatever. But, like, I knew once we got back to it, I just couldn't go hard. We're going to keep going. Lewis and the folks are still going, thanks in part to the playmaking and defense from their starting point guard. He brings a lot of quickness and uh, sees the floor well and gets his other teammates involved offensively. And defensively, he's really starting to become a leader. He's very important because he keeps the team together and runs the plays correctly and Handle the ball well. Go, be okay. And the team's handling this situation together, rallying around Lewis with Samantha as its inspiration. We're just there for each other. She's a big inspiration. One of those things that put us more together and made us have better chemistry on the court. Samantha was always around Lewis and the basketball team, so it's still tough playing without her in the stands. But her legacy lives on. She didn't like you. She would have an attitude. If she she's like started like you, she was always laughing, always playing around, always smiling. She was happy, very happy girl. Left the same country and made everybody happy around her. Now Lewis brings a similar joy to his mom, playing his heart out in front of her while talking to Samantha during games. At all times, like I'll just catch myself telling her like I miss you, like watch over me. How we make this free throw. As the folks get ready for another playoff run, Lewis will be asking for more than just help with his free throws. Like always, Samantha will be there for him. The folks have been to the 4A regional semifinals the last two years. They're looking to get further this season, but first, 
They'll finish up District with a game against Burbank tomorrow night. If the folks win, they'll take second place in District 28. We're still not done here on Max Force.